Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroads Online. Sorry about the thumbnail, it's just the Monty. <laughs> Actually, I haven't bought the new Loco yet, but we're going to buy a new Loco this episode. And we're going to be working on a little bit of track here as well. I did a live stream uh, the other day between episodes 3 and 4, so if you hung out for that, we're kind of continuing on from there. If not, I'll get you caught up on a little bit of stuff. Basically, we were just running loads to make money. Uh, so I'm up to 44.60 now on the funds, and we're level 4. That way we can buy a new locomotive, because the Monty just isn't powerful enough to haul much out of here, up the big grade. I can do 4 cars of beams or 3 of lumber, and this is not very much. So you can see I've got a load of logs here, and I want to bring that in and get some firewood set up. In our new service track here at the yard, down here we're at the sawmill, in case you didn't recognize that. So I've added this stuff in, and this was a pain. Like, I don't know how these are supposed to work, but you have to kind of like fiddle with it till it eventually snaps to the rail, but it only wanted to snap to this side. So I was originally gonna build it over there, but I couldn't get it to snap to the right side of the rail. So I built it over here. It's a big pain in the butt. But I think that's the right distance. We'll find out. So these, the uh, water, the... Uh, the fuel and the sand are all snapped to this track, which is good. That's good. That's an option now. And then I went ahead and built this track off the back of here to deliver logs. So we're going to bring the logs in get some firewood processed. So we have uh, extra fuel when we're ready. And does this fill back up? No. I would have swore that was nearly full when I put it down. Huh. Okay. So that's filling back up, because we're going to need water for the new locomotive. Sand is ready to go. So let's get the logs brought in. And then we'll go from there. So we need you thrown. You're good. You're good. Probably unload like at least two cars. We'll see how many it holds. Need some fuel? Yeah, you need a little bit of fuel. All right, let's get this thing brought in here. Monty does okay on, on level track. Got these cars moving. And one thing I discovered, the parallel track tool also works for groundwork. So that was handy. I laid out this extra groundwork because the firewood depot or whatever it's called just floats in the air. Doesn't have any kind of foundation. So I put down groundwork parallel with that track and just brought it out. So that was a handy little feature. Wasn't sure that would even work, but I tried it and it did. Now it's been a while since I used one of these. I think I can just unload here. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So it'll hold 32 but that'd be after it's already processed. So does each log... Each log gives 20 maybe? Yeah, each log gives 20. Okay, cool. Well, we'll get a couple more unloaded here. Come on. <laughs> Pull it on out. So I kind of went back and forth on which new loco I want to get. And I think I've decided on the cookie. I was going to get the class 48, but... Uh, the cookie did us really good in season one. And I think it'll be a great addition to the railroad. Actually, am I getting paid for that? Oh, I, I do get paid for dropping off here. Okay, interesting. So we're paying ourselves. 
right? Because that was 44 something, right? 40, so that's 80. Oh, dang it. Come on. Let me move the thing I'm looking at. Go ahead and pull on up. I might just dump all these in there. Then I'll have plenty of fuel. We can always go get more logs. All right, close you up. Bonk myself on the head here. What if I did like 5%? That'd be enough to keep it moving? No. <laughs> okay. Now there's three car. Let's do four. At least. Yeah, that's off. So let's get moving again. If I put it down to say 10%, will it be enough to keep moving? Run! Oh, I think we missed one of the logs. Let's see if we get about even with it fell off the platform. Well, that brought her to a dead stop, didn't it? Got enough room for six more logs. All right, let's get up there and get this thing parked. Okay, so we're going to come back out of there and then we're going to back into here so we can head out. That's not too fast. I have a speedometer. We're coming out, folks. Look out. And then the plan is to buy the new Loco, and we're going to see how that performs. But my other two cars are up at the depot. I've only got four over there. So we'll try four lumber. It should be able to handle that, no problem. Going up a little bit of a grade, it feels like. I can tell by the, the tone. I could just send this up the grade and then catch it later in theory it's a good theory close you shut you down I still have the cylinder cocks open oopsie the switch ah tender break works extra well can I switch you can excellent how about these switches up ahead there you are all good good deal a very confused engine now. All right, Monty, you take it away and I'll meet you at the top of the grade. 
So let's go to fly mode. Let's get over here in the yard. How much water we got? We got a little bit of water there. So let's see. I'm standing on this track. I don't know for sure where it's going to spawn the new engine. We go to... And we want the wood variant because I don't have coal. I may not ever even get to the coal. So we're going to do that. This will be engine number two. And its name is going to be Cookie. And the tender will say Fedora Railroad. There we go. And then... Oh, there's not hardly any options for this one. That's a bummer. The coal variant has all kinds of options. Hmm. All right. Uh, of course, it puts it over there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's Monty? Probably out of render range. Okay, we got tons of wood. I imagine we're low on water. Yeah, so there's no water in the tender at all. Good to know. We have a little bit of water in the boiler, it looks like. Yes, it is indeed. It is indeed low. <laughs> not even enough steam to oh the water is not even boiling yet not even enough steam to blow the whistle all right how are we looking on the uh monty monty's doing fine we'll have to intercept monty at some point uh actually i need to get him set to go uh, he's already set to go to the logging camp so that's all good all right i'm gonna let pressure build and i'll be back all right, we don't have pressure yet, but uh, Monty's about to get away from us. So I'm going to teleport up there. Nope. I'm going to get out of that view, and then I can teleport up here. And then I always get turned around. And then we'll hop on Monty, because he's going to be uh, heading up to the uh, logging camp soon. And boom. Nailed it. A couple more extra mile an hour here coming across the flat. So we're going to need it. So for now, Monty's going to be on log duty. Then we're going to use Cookie to haul the big loads up out of the valley. So we'll watch Monty run for a bit. Why the Y toggle vehicle UI? Is that like on a timer that just keeps popping up when it's turned off? I know, I know that toggle. Is it? I pushed it to turn it off. Go away. We're trying to be all cinematic here. Watching this little prairie passenger locomotive haul the log train up a mountain. does all right though. Well, Monty does all right. We get a little slow riding through here. I think this is 4% or so. It's pretty steep. It's 
So we'll get down to about 10 mile an hour, but it'll make it. Got eight cars. I'm not sure I could do it with 10. We can just do it with eight. And that cookie was starting cold, so it's it's taken a while even to get the water to boil. But by the time we get up here and park to the logging camp, we should be good to go. What I could do is get some logs here, go to the depot, grab those other two cars and take them down with me. But I think I'll just bring four up with the cookie and then grab the two when we're at the depot. Because I want to go to the depot and sell anyway. So it'd be kind of a, a wasted effort if I did it with this train. Now one change I've made between episodes over here at the logging camp is I did go ahead and extend the tracks out. So we can turn the entire logging train rather than just the loco. Oh, shoot. Guess who didn't put the switch back last time they were up here? This guy. Sometimes I go to grab the whistle and I miss. Back four, where we go? You can't click those when you're in this view. So I had to just slam on the brakes. So I repositioned these so they're lined up good. So I went ahead and did a parallel track over here. Oops, man, these brakes are touchy. Uh, then I could get them lined up so they're the same distance. Made it look a little better. Then I just deleted the track. If you look closely, they're kind of floating in the air, but just don't look too closely. All right, we've made it here. Let me drop a save. So I'm going to get this loaded up, and I'm going to get back down to the valley. By that time, Cookie should have a full head of steam. And we'll try out the new loco. So I'll see you in a bit. Alrighty, we made it down. It's a full load of logs. So we're going to tie up the Monty here. And uh, to do. And let's go check out the new loco. We'll go to re-rail fly mode here. Coming in hot. Splat. Now, hopefully we have enough water to get over to the water tower. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know it's low on water. We're going to take care of that. Get all the noises going. Uh, what's going on with the tender here? Is it kind of not on the track? Interesting. A problem. This brake's also on. Forgot to check that. Um, fun. I wonder if that'll sort itself out. It looks like it's just going to sort itself out. Possibly. The front truck's still a little sketch. All right, brakes are super sensitive on this as well. Oh, I like that whistle. Sounds good. We already got a full load of sand. I'm not sure if sand even works. Did they ever fix that? These always just load in with a full load of sand. Uh, ooh, we're going to fit. <laughs> yeah, we fit. 
They mostly fed under the sanding tower. Look at that. Precision engineer. Something. Hello? Can I stand up here? There we go. Hey, it matches up. Nice. That's handy having it snapped to the track. I just wish it was easier to, you know, tell it which side. Maybe there's a way to tell it which side. I couldn't figure it out. There was no on-screen controls to that effect. So I built everything over here. All right. Well, it took a while to get the logs, but the good news is it got lots of water in the water tower. So I'm going to sit here for 20 or 30 minutes and let this fill up and I'll be back. All right. We're almost full. Took a little while. Yay. We're full. All right. Let's get this raised up. Close the hatch and let's go get some cars full of stuff to haul. There are switches lined up, so I want to go this direction to get reversed and we're going to go back in there. Get that guy thrown. Ah, uh, it's nice to have the cookie back. We're going to make lots of money together, cookie. And I think I'll just leave that lined up for the service track. For now. I wonder what the top speed on this bad boy is these days. Got air brakes. I see they even have uh, air gauges now, which is cool. It's like it's got a reservoir and a brake pipe, maybe brake cylinder. Not sure what the uh, two thingies would be on this old Veloco. Very effective brakes. <laughs> that was kind of a sad whistle. I went ahead and turned the headlight on. Look at them little bitty drivers. This thing's made for pulling. Also, if you were in the stream, I did end up redoing this junction a little bit just to make it a little less janky. Pretty happy with that now. Uh, I want to pull a load for this, and then we might lay some track to get over to the water tank. Since we're already down here, we might as well hook that up. We got a little bit of a hill here. Just let that drift down. Let's go ahead and get uh, lumber. Am I lined up for any lumber? Not really. Okay. I want to pull uh, four lumber. Let's see how we do. Should be able to handle it because the Monte could do three. Let's see. Let me kill this break here. Yeah, there's a sound. Sometimes there's a sound, sometimes there's not. Oh, I was going to do the, uh, the lineup trick down here and I forgot. Like I was saying at the logging camp where I did the parallel track to get it lined up, it works pretty well. We'll do that sometime. All right, let's get some lumber. Yeah, we're full up on lumber. Uh, so we got X. Oh, that's sand. Nothing to do with the air rakes. We do have a compressor because we've got the uh, air brakes. I used to always keep it on 10%. We'll see if that does the trick. So far, so good.
I do really like the uh, sounds, the chuff sounds. They, uh, they sound good. I don't know if they're realistic. I'm not a huge locomotive guy. They sound good. And I pulled up a little too far, didn't I? All right, fine. Let's do the parallel track thing. So we go to our middle mouse parallel track. There we go. And then we'll just bring it out to say there. And then I've been using the flange sign. Turn that around flat. Flat-ish. There we go. And we find our brain and we just line that up. That's probably too close, isn't it? Let's do... Get of you. We'll just do it in the middle of the track. That'll work. Doink. And down here, this crane. Do doink. The doink is the important bit. All right. And then we have a nicely lined up set of things there. I should have done the whole thing. That would have been that would have been smart. Uh, nobody ever said I was smart. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just pull this out again to about the middle. And we'll go down here, find our other cranes. In the middle, and I can just see the crane on the other side there. That will work. I better load up my lumber. No, I needed to back up, right? I hadn't backed up yet. Just call me Scatterbrain. I wish the sliders would take effect before you let off the key. Okay, we'll load up, we're gonna drop a save, and then we're gonna head on out here and see just how much trouble or not trouble this has. All on, these are eight metric tons of pop, I believe. Yeah, 8,100 kilograms. Uh, in freedom units, it's about nine tons. Okay, drop the save. All right, Cookie, you're up. Off we go. Let's just double check. We are lined up to get on out of here. And then we need to be lined up to go to the depot. Up here. Oh yeah, she's screaming out of here. I think this is about top speed. A 22, something like that. Sounds about right. No problem. We'll see how we do when we get up here on the steep part, though. Yeah, I'm starting to feel it now. Still doing almost 20. It's respectable. 
Let's give her a full reverser. Did that hurt us? It might have actually hurt us. This has got enough power that we can sort of use the reverser now. Very cool. Yeah, we'll grab those other two cars at the depot. I think she can do six, no problem. Maybe even eight. We'll just have to test the limits, see what we can do. Adjust the sensitivity for the key. I'd like to be able to fine tune that a little more. Let's see. Uh, well, shift. No, it doesn't anything. I think you can hold shift to slowly move the cap controls. Unless I'm confusing that with another game. Like, I'm just barely tapping the key and it's moving like 5%. Oh yeah, no problem. Pretty much maintaining almost full speed. He said shortly before hitting the steepest part of the grade. <laughs> yeah, Cookie's rocking it. the not challenging parts it seems pretty happy around 40 45 and we're out of wood that topped off We are coming through. Don't need much to hold the speed. Let's double check. I did get line. Yeah, we're lined to go to the depot. I don't think I've touched the depot switches, but it wouldn't hurt to check. Yeah, we're good to go there. Just floating along. So I had a few comments about the reverser being more noticeable on the more powerful engines. Absolutely correct. On the Monty, you couldn't really tell. Definitely makes a difference here on the cookie. All right, great job, cookie. Grab your other cars after we drop these off. The brakes seem more effective as well. Especially at lower percentages. So I gotta get used to that. Bring in the money. All right, I'm thinking six is not going to be a problem. I wonder if I should buy another two cars while I'm up here. Pretty tempting. So we've got, yeah, we've just got six of those. I'm going to buy another two. We should have 
Yeah, we should have enough. Should have enough money. Let's just go ahead and buy another two. I wish you could just look at a car and tell what color it was, because I honestly don't remember. So this would be a 207 and 208, I think. I'll just do the default paint, because I honestly don't remember. And 208. I used to always start with the zero, but I've been starting with one on this save. Just makes it easier to remember how many cars I have. Oh, you put it right there, did you? Well, if you're going to be that way, I'll just stick you back here. How do you like them apples? That was the wrong button. Like that icon doesn't look right. <laughs> okay, let's get hooked on. Take the brakes off on all these. And I've split up this video, so I don't know how we're doing on time at all. This may turn into a, a really long episode. You are off and you are off. Alright, we're going to do a little switching. Oh yeah, forget to get that guy. Forgot to get my guy back there. Don't worry, car, we're coming for you. Everybody be aware, we're doing stuff. I need to switch this guy. Yeah, definitely better brakes than the Monty for sure. Gets right with it. Oops. All right, we need to throw that switch. Put that one back. All right, I'm going to run back down. We're going to get this loaded up, and we'll see how we do with eight cars. And we will I, I don't think we're going to have time for track laying, so we'll end the video with how the cookie does with eight cars. See you in a bit. We're getting loaded up here. We're going to make a run at it. I don't know if it's just going to make it. Place your predictions now. I have a feeling it will. I think it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, though. Wrong key. Did I get that? Yeah, I guess it's set up right. It's just really hard to tell sometimes with the perspective where you're at. It's probably one of my biggest beasts with this game is like, just give us camera controls. You know, let me move along my train. Have the camera locked to any car in the train. It would make this so much easier. That's where Railroader is like the opposite of this game. Like everything is easy in Railroader. I like it. Railroad's online, you're just constantly fighting the game. 
It could be a lot better. It's fun, but man, it could be a lot better with just a few little tweaks. The usability. But anyway, I'm not going to let this turn into a rant. <laughs> We've got a beautiful new locomotive. It's a good, a good screenshot right there. So let's go ahead and drop a save. Save really save often. And let's head on up the hill. We'll see how she does. I'm excited to find out. Also, save my zoom level. Like every time I get in the loco, I have to go back to the zoom level I want. Just little things like that could make this so much better. Okay, I'm done. Really confident whistle. Water's good. Fuel's good. Temperature's good. Highball. Here we go. Guess I'm gonna need to have this up so I can manage the reverser. Get a run at it. like we're running through a lot of trees. Yeah, I'm starting to hit that steep part. Now she's feeling it. So metric tons, 64 metric tons, right? Eight times eight. Just over 70 imperial tons. We'll just, we'll just give her all the steam she'll take. Well, unless we start speeding up again. We might have to back it off a little bit. You know what? It's pulling better than I expected, but it gets really steep, like, right up around here. It's fairly steep here, and then there's that last little bit right before the curve. It is really steep. She's chugging right along. It's going to help with the old uh, money operation. I could pull more, but then we'd be going a lot slower. I think I think eight of lumber might be about the limit for the cookie. Just based on how fast I want to be able to go. We'll see. This is the steepest part, I think, right here. In fact, I could probably relay some of this. Do it a little smoother. I did it in kind of pieces. I could also take a lot more time and probably make it less steep and more consistent. I just don't have a ton of time to spend on that. So, this was my second attempt. I first tried to come down and follow the mountain. That didn't really work out that great. Pretty happy with this route, though. It works. We marched right up the steepest part, almost full speed. So I'm happy with the cookie purchase. For the worst of it, I'm going to start bringing that reverser back. And we are golden. Victory two. No problem for the cookie. Come on, get on 40. I just cannot move this. 
I need to look through the controls. There might be a sensitivity setting that I've overlooked. Oh, man, even the mouse is hard to adjust it. Good lord. <laughs> Yay, I did it! See what I mean about fighting the game? Like, everything you try to do in this game is hard. Alright, while we're on the flat, let me just take a quick look in controls. Uh, movements. There's camera sensitivity. I'm fine with the camera sensitivity. Uh, gameplay. Don't see anything in there. Yeah, a way to adjust that sensitivity would be nice. Right, we're up on the flat. We don't need hardly any steam now. We're good. I'm impressed. Good job, Cookie. So it can bring eight lumber up faster than the Monty could do three. The Monty would get down to like less than like eight or ten miles an hour on that steep part with with just three cars. And we just did it near full speed with eight. So that's quite an upgrade. I'm liking it. Now we can sell eight full cars for some cold, hard cash. Which we need, because we're going to need water cars and seed cars. And I know that the uh, wheat farm doesn't pay very well, but it's a game loop. And basically, we are, we're almost to the water already, so that's why I'm just going to go ahead and complete it. Even though it's not the most profitable thing ever. Yeah, she slows right down, even just 36% break. What a good little locomotive. Now let's get you down to like walking speed. I'll let you just do your thing as we unload here. Just let the money roll in. Put that slider to a stop, and that puts us up to 1580. Sixty per car. Yeah, I guess it'd only be about five hundred bucks, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm happy with that purchase. Uh, what What's next? We're gonna get to the water. That's kind of a given because we're already down there, so we might as well connect it up. And then if I have the right cars, I think I have to be tier five maybe to get the box car. But once we have the right uh, cars, we can bring seeds over and we can bring water over. And we can get um, straw and grain. So that's all well and good. We have a refinery down here, which we're not anywhere close to needing to do. Uh, we got a lot of stuff on the mountains. Gold mine, gold smelter, uh, stamp mill. Oh my goodness, it takes water and gold and purple things. Oh, well, that's iron ore. So that would take that. We get the iron works. So yeah, we'll have to figure out. Oh, this is okay. So I get the smelter. I was thinking that was the smelter, but that's the iron works. So we need to get some lines up into here somehow. We'll have to figure that out. We've got the dredge, which we can't do anything with yet meat packing plant. I guess we have the cattle farm over here. Make the most sense to probably come on out here next. Uh, then we can connect up to the meat packing plant possibly. 
the coal mines would probably head up into there. We could do some more stuff. I'm not frustrated to death with this game yet, so we'll be doing some more. Look at that pretty locomotive. Thanks as always for watching, folks. That'll be it for this one. I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care.